Hello everyone! Welcome po ulit sa ating video tutorial dito po sa ating Mat Isip YouTube channel. Thank you very much for subscribing and following our Facebook page. Thank you also for not skipping the ads and sharing our videos to other learners. In today's lesson, ang ating pag-aaralan ay about volume of rectangular pyramid. So here in this lesson, you will be explaining inductively the volume of a rectangular pyramid leading to the identification of the formula. You will also find the volume of a rectangular pyramid. So without further ado, let us now begin. Okay, so bale, ito po ang pagkakasunod-sunod ng ating lesson for today. First, we will have a review on area of a rectangle. Next, the volume of a rectangular prism. And then we will now proceed to the derivation of volume of a rectangular pyramid. And then we will also solve volume of a rectangular pyramid. Okay, first let's have a review on the area of a rectangle. How to get the area of a rectangle? Remember, area is the amount of space of a two-dimensional object or a flat surface like, for example, this rectangle. So how to measure the area? We just need to count the number of square units inside this rectangle. So if you're going to count, there are actually 28 square units inside this rectangle. But throughout the time, they were able to identify the easiest way, which is to multiply the length and then the width. Therefore, we have this formula, area is equal to length times width. So in this example, if the length is 7 and the width is 4, you just multiply 7 and 4, you will get 28 square units. So that's how you get the area of a rectangle. Okay, this time, how do we get the volume of a rectangular prism? Let us review by showing you a GeoGebra model para maipakita ko kung paano nakuha yung formula in getting the volume of a rectangular prism. How do we get the volume of a rectangular prism? Remember, a rectangular prism is a three-dimensional solid object that has six faces and it has two congruent and parallel bases. What kind of bases? A rectangular base. Therefore, we need to go back to the area of a rectangle. How do we get the area of a rectangle? We just need to multiply the length or yung haba times the width or yung kanyang lapad. Therefore, in this example, we have here 10 as the length and then 5 as the width. So if we multiply 10 times 5, the area of this rectangle is 50. Now, if we're going to add the height or the third dimension, like for example here, we have a height of 1. We just need to multiply the area of the base times the height. So the area of the base is 50 times 1. We get 50. If we add another, we have 2. So 50 times 2, we get 100. Pag dinagdagan pa natin, gawin nating 3 yung height. 50 times 3 is 150. So if we're going to make it 10, we just have 10 times 5, which is 50, times 10, which is 500. So the volume of a rectangular prism is the area of the base times height or length times width times height. Okay, ngayon po, now that we know the area of a rectangle and the volume of a rectangular prism, let us now proceed with the derivation of the volume of a pyramid. Okay, first let us define pyramid. What is a pyramid? A pyramid is a three-dimensional solid with a polygonal base and triangular faces that converge to a single point called the apex. Okay, so ito po yung ating base. This can be a square, a rectangle, or any kind of polygon. Now, we have here the apex dito po sa taas. Okay, and we have here the faces. Okay, or what we call the lateral faces. Take note, lateral faces are always triangular. Okay, triangle po yung shape niya. Now, we have the other parts here. Like, for example, the height. Remember, height is from the apex to the bottom of the pyramid and it is always perpendicular. Now, how about this kind of height? Ito po yung tinatawag nating slant height that goes along with the lateral faces. Now, from the word slant, nakaslant po yan. And lastly, we have the edges of the pyramid. In this kind of pyramid, there are four edges. So remember, these are all the parts of the pyramid, the apex, the base, the lateral face, height, edge, and the slant height. 
Okay, now more specifically, ito po yung rectangular pyramid. A rectangular pyramid is a type of pyramid where the base is a rectangle. It has four triangular faces that meet at the apex and each triangular face is connected to one side of the rectangular base. So meron na tayong length, meron na din tayong width kasi nga ang ating base ay rectangle. And don't forget that we have the height here na magagamit natin mamaya. Now, how is the volume of a rectangular pyramid derived? Using a GeoGebra tool, I'm going to explain again paano na-derive yung formula ng rectangular pyramid. Let us explore the volume of a pyramid. How do we derive the formula in getting the volume of a pyramid? To demonstrate this, I have here three identical pyramids. Each has the same rectangular base. They have the same length, the same width, and the same height. Therefore, their volumes are also the same. Now, if I'm going to click this animation button, observe what solid figure we can create if we combine all the three pyramids in a particular way. Yes, we form a rectangular prism. Now, how do we calculate the volume of a rectangular prism? Remember, we just need to multiply the length times the width times the height, or the area of the base, times height. Now again, how many identical pyramids did we combine to make this rectangular prism? Yes, there are three. So how does one volume of a pyramid compare to the volume of the rectangular prism? Yes, the volume of our single pyramid is just one-third of the volume of the rectangular prism. Therefore, the formula for finding the volume of a pyramid is simply one-third times the base area. In this case, the volume of this rectangular pyramid is one-third times the length times width times height. Another way to understand the derivation of the volume of a rectangular pyramid or any kind of pyramid is by just exploring on how much liquid can these solid figures contain. So panoorin nyo po itong video na ito para maintindihan nyo kung bakit yung volume ng rectangular pyramid is just one-third of the volume of the rectangular prism. Now, with those demonstration and exploration, I hope malinaw na po sa atin kung paano na-derive yung formula in getting the volume of a rectangular pyramid. Now again, what is the formula in getting the volume of a rectangular pyramid? It can be written in different ways. The first one is, using this formula, volume is equal to one-third times base times height. Ano po itong base? This base is the area of the base of a pyramid, whether it is rectangle or square or any kind of polygon. Pwede po nating gamitin itong formula na ito in any type of pyramid. Now, in this case, we are learning about rectangular pyramid, so we can also have this formula. We can just multiply one-third times the length times the width times the height because remember, the base here is a rectangle. It has a length and it has a width. And finally, we can also write this in this form. We just need to multiply length times width times height and then the product divided by 3. So volume is equal to length times width times height over 3. 
Now that we know the formula in getting the volume of a rectangular pyramid, we are now ready to solve volumes using the formula. So, tignan po natin yung mga examples natin dito. Number one, we have this uh, problem. Let me read. A rectangular pyramid whose base area is 120 square feet and height of 9 feet. Find the volume of the pyramid. Okay, so paano po ulit ang ating formula? We can use the one-third base times height. Bakit po itong formula na ito ang gagamitin natin? Remember, ang mga given po natin dito is yung area. Nabigay na po yung area ng pyramid at ano pa po yung isang given? Yung height, which is 9 feet. So, multiply lang natin by just substituting. Okay, base, our area is 120. Our height is 9. So, 120 times 9, we get 1,080. I-multiply lang po natin siya sa one-third. How do we multiply a fraction by a whole number? Remember, you just need to multiply the numerator times the whole number. So, 1 times 1,080 is just 1,080. Tapos, i-divide natin siya by 3. We will get 360. Ano po ang basa ng ating final answer? This is now cubic feet. So, the volume of this pyramid is 360 cubic feet. Okay, example number two, find the volume of a rectangular pyramid if its base length is 10 meters, its base width is 6 meters, and its height is 14 meters. Okay, so ano po yung mga given natin? Given po ang height, 14 meters. Given po ang width, 6 meters. Given po ang length, which is 10 meters. So what formula are we going to use? We can use this formula. Volume of a pyramid is equal to one-third times length times width times height. Okay, so ano po ang ating length? It's 10 meters. Ano po ang ating width? It's 6 meters. And ano po ang ating height? It's 14. We can start by multiplying these three numbers. We can, we can get 840. Now, what is one-third of 840? Okay, you just multiply 840 by 1, the numerator, and then divide it by 3. Or simply, just divide it by 3. So, ang ating sagot ay 280 cubic meters. Okay, next number 3. A rectangular pyramid has a base length of 10 feet and a width of 7 feet. The height is approximately 9.5 feet. Estimate the volume of the pyramid. So, ano po yung mga given natin? Height is 9.5, width is 7 feet, length is 10 feet. Parang katulad po sa number 2, all we have to do is to use the formula, 1 third length times width times height. Substitute lang po natin sa formula. We have length is 10, width is 7, height is 9.5. Okay, multiply natin tong tatlong numbers. We will get 600. 65. Now you just divide it by 3, you will get 221.67 cubic feet. So the volume of the rectangular pyramid is 221.67 cubic feet. Okay, here in the last example, example number 4, you have to pay attention kasi medyo ipa po ito sa mga nauna nating example. Let me read the problem. The volume of a rectangular pyramid is 300 cubic meters and the base area is 50 square meters. Now, find the height of the pyramid. So, ano na po ang hinahanap dito? We are now looking for the height. Okay, so let's have the given first. First given is the volume, which is 300 cubic meters. Next one is the base or the area of the base, which is 50 square meters. Now, in our solution, anong formula ang gagamitin natin? Same pa rin po. Using this formula, volume is equal to one-third times base times height. Let us now substitute. Ang volume natin is 300. Ang base is 50. Now, how do we solve for H in this kind of equation? There are two methods. Let me show you the first one. First, uh, i-multiply muna natin yung ating whole number sa ating uh, fraction. So remember, we can just multiply 50 by the numerator, which is 1. So we have 50 over 3. Now, uh, remember this is a fraction. So, paano natin to gagawin? You just divide this one. So, 50 divided by 3, we have 16.67. 
Okay, now we have 300 here on the other side and we have here 16.67 times H kapag magkatapi po sila, meaning ay multiplication. Now, if we're going to multiply this two number, I repeat, 16.67 times the other number, which is H, na hindi pa po natin alam ang kanyang value, ang sagot ay 300. Now, ano po ba ang reverse ng multiplication? Okay, division. Ibig sabihin, itong ating product, 300, kapag dinivide natin siya by any of these two number, ang magiging sagot is yung isa pang number. So, for example, if 300 is divided by H, ang magiging sagot ay 16.67. Kung ang 300 naman, i-divide natin sa 16.67, ang magiging sagot ay yung value ng H. So, yun po yung gagawin natin. So, we'll divide 300 by 16.67 to get H. So, 300 divided by 16.67, that will be the value of the height, which is 17.9964. So, we can actually round this off. Pwede nating simplify magiging 18 na siya. So, ang height natin is 18 meters. Now, what is the second method? In our second method, pwedeng mas simple ito. Ang gagawin lang natin is to remove the denominator 3. Okay? So, paano natin uh, tanggalin si 3 dito? We can just multiply it by 3. Okay? If we multiply 50 over 3, by 3, the same denominator, matatanggal na po si 3 dyan. Okay? Kung nag-multiply tayo sa isang side, mag-multiply din tayo dito sa kabilang side. Si 300, imu-multiply din natin sa 3. Kaya both of them multiplied by 3. So, 300 times 3 is 900. Now, here, again, I repeat, we have 50 over 3, multiply mo sa 3, matatanggal na yung denominator niya. Okay? Diba 50 times 3 is 150? I-divide mo sa 3, eh di 50 lang din siya. So in order for you to get rid of the denominator, you just multiply a fraction by a number that is the same with the denominator. Alright? Now, we have 900 is equal to 50 times height. Parang yung concept po kanina dito, ang reverse ng multiplication ay division. So you just uh, divide yung 900 by one of this number para makuha yung isang number. So, we have 900 divided by 50 is equal to H. So, 900 divided by 50, H now is equal to 18 meters. So, the height of the rectangular pyramid is 18 meters. Alright, this time I hope you are now ready for our activity. Okay, let's practice solving these problems. Okay, using the formula in getting the volume of a rectangular pyramid. I'm going to give you time to finish this. You can do this in a separate sheet of paper. And then pag natapos nyo na, you can always go back to the video para makita nyo po yung mga tamang sagot. Okay, now I hope you are ready to see the answers. I'm going to show you the answers for these four questions. Okay, number one, the final answer here is 600 cubic feet using the formula one-third base times height. In number two, the final answer is 213.33 cubic meters. Pwede rin itong i-round off, magiging 213 na lang siya. Okay, the formula is one-third times length times width times height. Number three, the same. We can have the final answer, 189 cubic feet using the same formula. And then for number four, this is now for uh, the value of height, which is 18 meters by uh, substituting into the formula, one-third base times height. Okay, so I hope nakuha nyo po ng tama ang mga sagot dito. And uh, for the next lesson, we will still practice on the volume of rectangular pyramid by answering or solving word problems. I hope meron po ulit kayong natutunan dito. I hope to see you again on the next video. God bless and bye-bye. Kung meron kang natutunan sa video na ito, please click the subscribe button to support this channel. Para mas matulungan ulit kita sa mga susunod mo pang math lessons. Lagi mong tatandaan, ang mat ay para sa lahat. At ako si Teacher Van, nagsasabing dito sa mat isip, lamang ang nag-iisip. God bless and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.